And I will see us in there. But all these as talk ones, maybe we'll beat them in easy way. Sorry, bro. Oh, no, 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 problem. no problem. So, as you mean, if I start it, my means MBFL will be. Let me start the whole process again. MBFL, my double tap, FL, ever be. Yeah, MBFL will be FL. FL, be instrumental, too, so good. And I'm going to start to record it. I'm going to record it. First of all, no. You said I'm making an easy template. Same way, I be easy amount with, with your recording. No, mm-hmm. so we, we find a template. And since since we don't have a template, we can use the old tracks that we, we've recorded. What mm-hmm. I say? So I'll take this one and mm-hmm. I say, I'm far booking cares. Then oh, drag me drag and I'm there to us. I'm fine to be a hana fatu and every money be easily. You double click a cry and be this all on our drag. I also drag it to move so I'll be in your to move but I'm a professor that process me. So, okay, now so be a we in Karami eat it and KB that that. KB. Okay. See me be a project no catch me say a normal way in a uh, air messing. So I don't give a fuck. I just say okay. So you just tap okay. Mm-hmm. Then I do we see where we record the whole thing here for the playlist. Mm-hmm. And uh, one fascinating thing about it for only say be be uh need to be uh the mouse better to be uh mm-hmm. a show has a mouse watch mm-hmm. your view playlist. Mm-hmm. So I want to view the playlist. So I just tap on on this one. This is the playlist. This area here mm-hmm. is the playlist. So this uh, will be open. As you mean, you want to you want to zoom in and out. You use this this place here. So open so zoom in and out. Uh, so all the numbers. With, okay. Maybe a number say one with your scroll here. Yeah. Okay. And always zoom in and out. And as I told you earlier, so I want to start a new project, and I'm using this one as my template. Mm-hmm. But this project already has recorders mm-hmm. and a beat yes. there. So as I taught you, mm-hmm. Control A will select the whole thing. Control A. Control X will delete the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Now I have a fresh playlist mm-hmm. for my music. For sure, yeah. So I just come to the desktop or where the new beat is. Let me find a new beat. Um, Kim Von beat you. I'm looking for one beat you now. I hold it and I drag it into the playlist. Mm-hmm. It's ready. I have it here. Mm-hmm. So let's use this one as an MP3. This is MP3. Now, assuming the beat was was a wave in a waveform, mm-hmm. you won't see this line here. Mm-hmm. But any MP3 instrumental be watching online. It has this thing here, so you have to clear this part off, mm-hmm. or else it's going to affect the BPM. So I just hold it like this, then I drag until so I click and hold. until I get to here. You click and you hold mm-hmm. until I get to the tip of the instrumental yes. where the actual thing starts. Then I leave it. Then I pull it. I hold it and I pull it here to mm-hmm. touch mm-hmm. this wall here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now one important thing when it comes to recording is your BPM. BPM. So in case you don't you don't know your BPM beats per minute. You see this one is ninety. This one is 90, mm-hmm. right? Let's read the beat and see. The BPM and the beat doesn't sync. So mm-hmm. I have to make them sync. Mm-hmm. So how do I check it? I have I have a way of checking since I've used this one for, for quite some time. But if you don't know the normal process, you can use this one. You double tap mm-hmm. on the beat. This thing will pop up here. Let mm-hmm. me do it again. You double tap mm-hmm. on the beat. Mm-hmm. As in left click. Let's click double mm-hmm. tap. Mm-hmm. Then you right, you right click on the waveform here, mm-hmm. and you see the text tempo. tempo yeah. mm-hmm. You see, mm-hmm. so I tap on this one. Let's click. I tap on it, and most of the trap beats and the drill beats, they are they are between hundred to two hundred, or even seventy five to one fifty is okay. Mm-hmm. So let me let me use seventy five to one fifty. So automatically, FL will start calculating the BPM. 
or the beats you see just you know testing or whatever Okay, 77. Wow, really? 77 per hour? Okay, it says 77. So let, let's check if. if let's see. So you see, it sinks. It sinks with the BPM. This is the metronome. That thing we get, Keke is called metronome. So if I turn it, it off, no metronome is here. If I turn it on. Metro Boomer, no? Yeah. Producer, no? Yeah, yeah, me, no. Okay. So the BPM sings perfectly. So from here, you can start recording. The, mm -hmm. the, the final thing that you have to know is the key of the beat. Mm -hmm. As I taught you earlier, I, I told you that the key helps you to, for the pitch correction, the auto tune and all that, no? Mm -hmm. Without the key, you can't put an auto tune on your voice. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Sure. So yeah, if, me as a producer, if I want to check the, the the BPM of of this one, it is very easy for me. But for you, I don't know. <laughs> so in case you're working on something and you don't yeah. know the BPM, you can you and can you send it to me. Oh, total confused, okay. bro. <laughs> this one is an instrument. <laughs> like any other normal key. What type of what I say? Oh, okay. Mm. So in F4, if you want to work with this one, you have to open your piano roll. Uh -huh. That is where you can, if you want to play some keys and all that. Yeah, even with, with so your mouse. That, where, oh, I accidentally click it even now, way better. So, uh, mm -hmm. If I say a choir. Yeah. On say, say um, console sign a wire, no? and I close sign a mm -hmm. one. You just tap it here. It's too close. I mean, come on, we know. We say it now. So we now are better saying. Yeah. Oh, you can also close it here. Oh, you can drag mm. and close. Yeah, close it here. Sure. Good. So, open say pop it up, but oh, open say who's a open say say but it. We are friend of channel rocks at the end. And as I said earlier, in case you don't get, you don't understand anything. The moment you you put your mouse pointer on anything here, the name yeah. of that thing will pop up. Yeah, on this mm -hmm. on this bar here, you find a name here. So this mm -hmm. one is called the channel rack, and you see the phrase "view channel rack." You get it? Mm -hmm. View channel rack. So you just tap on this one; it will pop up again. And look at something here. You see the phrase "unsorted." Uh -huh. So here too, you can toggle this one here. It says "unsorted" and "audio." Mm -hmm. So if you want to see all the recordings in this project, you mm -hmm. go to audio. You find the audio recordings here. Every audio recording will pop up here. Now, assuming you want to, you want to look at um, the audio recordings and the and the and the instruments to go to all. Mm -hmm. So you see, we have the FL keys here, the claps and the recordings. Mm -hmm. But if I want, if I want only the instruments, I'll just go to unsorted, mm -hmm. and only the instruments will, will appear here. You get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So while while the beat is playing, now we don't have an idea. In, in terms of the key, we have no idea. So as you mean, we want to check the key of the track as the key, as the track is playing. Automatically, I know the sound. Mm -hmm. So I'm finding. Mm -hmm. A. So the key is A. Now I want to check whether it is minor, minor or major. A sharp minor, that's the key mm -hmm. for, for the track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the key. So after you check your BPM, our uh, BPM is 77. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to record and I want to use auto tune on my voice. And now I know, I know that the key of the track is A, A sharp minor. Mm -hmm. So as I told you earlier, you come to that, that thing here, this one is called a picture. Mm -hmm. It is um, an auto tune for FL Studio. So you come here, you see we have C by now here. So as you mean I record and I put this one on my voice, mm -hmm. my voice will start distorting. So I have to check the right key, then I put it, I, I put it at the right key. Mm -hmm. So A sharp 
minor. Mm -hmm. As you mean it is major, I change it here. Mm -hmm. We have major here and we have minor here. And as I said earlier, there's no need for you to waste your time on the pentatonics and the all and the single. Mm -hmm. The most important ones are the minor and major. That is what we use everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it is minor. So A sharp minor. So as you mean we record something right now, the key will be on point and the BPM will be okay. That's all you need for your recording. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So um, then we come to the interface. Now, every interface has its own way of recording. So mine, the moment you put you put that um, cable inside your laptop, you just switch on your phantom. Now, when it comes to the type of um, 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 mic that we use, you have to switch on your phantom. It uses 48 volts to power this kind of condenser microphones. We have we have the same thing here on your on your interface. Mm -hmm. So I'll turn my on. You see that green thing here? It means you are ready to record. Mm -hmm. So I go back to my mixer, my mixer board. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. It's just having an effect here. Yes. Uh -huh. So in case I want to record, then every day, based on the template that we use, mm -hmm. the channel two here on your mixer track. It's for recording mm -hmm. so now you come here you, you arm this one this one is called an arm you see the phrase an arm this recording mm -hmm. so i arm it here i put this one on mm -hmm. so after after you switch on your interface mm -hmm. you switch you put you put your channel 2 mm -hmm. on arm then you press this one for the actual recording mm -hmm. so so if if you don't arm the channel 2 you can't record mm -hmm. so as you mean i put I put the arm off it won't record mm -hmm. if i put it on it will start recording so you see this one this sign here mm -hmm. look at it it turns on if i put it off this one also turns off so when i i put it on mm -hmm. then i want to record something this one must be on oh so you just close something now right after you, you the mixer you arm it. the mixer oh i mean we are not close oh i mean we are not close to mixer no you no, understand no, but uh, screen, no, but screen, so. yeah. uh -huh. Okay. And assuming we have so many things here, and I want to clear this whole space, when you press F12, okay. 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 F12 uh -huh. on your keyboard will clear the whole the whole thing here. F now you have a blank space. So assuming I want to go back to my playlist, you see I told you the playlist is where we record the whole thing. Then uh -huh. this is my playlist. And as I said earlier, if you don't if you don't get something, the moment you put your mouse pointer on it. Mm -hmm. They are going to write the name of that thing here in mm. this box here. So back to my playlist and I have my beat here. And I have my workspace where I can record my track and do all that. Playlist in here? Playlist in here. This one. Oh, okay. This is my playlist. This one is my channel rack. So first one here, playlist. Mm. This one is piano roll. This one is my channel rack. Mm -hmm. This one is my mixer. And that is all you need. Mm -hmm. Forget about the rest. The most important ones are these four. Mm -hmm. Your playlist, your piano roll, your channel rack, and your mixer. That's all you need yeah. for recording. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you mean I want to record, as I said earlier, you open your mixer track. After you've switched on, you, you after you've dealt with your mm -hmm. interface and all that, and we come to the actual thing on your PC, mm -hmm. every time you want to record, based on our templates, mm -hmm. the channel 2 is used for recording. Mm -hmm. That is why anytime that I do anything here, mm -hmm. you see the effect happening on the channel too. Mm -hmm. You see that thing moving up and down. Mm -hmm. So you arm it. Right now mm -hmm. it's on. Let me put it off. Mm -hmm. You arm your channel too. Mm -hmm. You arm it. Mm -hmm. After that, everything is ready and for then, recording. Then you start oh, recording. Oh, okay, okay, outside of the box in the field. Oh no. In here. Oh, so, oh yeah, then that's how they record. Then that's how Oh, you press the same thing. Oh, okay. It turns it on and off. On oh, okay, and off. okay. So as you mean, I want my playlist to, to go right now. I can use that same mm -hmm. button that I use for the playlist. Okay. I press it, it disappears. I press it, it comes back. Okay. Do you understand? Sure. Mm -hmm. So as you know, I want to record. After after arming the track two, mm -hmm. I'll just put this one on. Mm -hmm. The actual record button. So you are recording right now. Wait. Oh, we, we do it. We, we let, me, let, me, let me do recording. the whole thing again. Whatever we are recording, we're recording to the playlist. 
and this one toggles between th this thing here, mm -hmm. this thing here, toggles between their playlist and their piano roll. So as you mean, I want to record. I want to make sure that this thing is in song mode. Mm -hmm. It's on green. Do you understand? Piano roll, song mode. So I want to put it on song mode. Mm -hmm. Then it means that everything that I'm going to record will appear here. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yes. Then I want to make sure that I switch my recording button. So let's record. Space bar, we start recording. You see, just recording right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. On track six. You see. Mm -hmm. So if I want to, I want to stop recording, my space bar, we stop recording. Okay. You understand? So you click red and space. Yes, red and space bar, then you start recording. Okay. Now, as you can see, this thing is off. Mm -hmm. This track is off. Track mm -hmm. six is off. Mm -hmm. Five is off. The four is off. <laughs> The other ones are off. Mm -hmm. As you know, to turn it on, I just click here. Let's click on this thing. Mm -hmm. It will switch on to be off. So this one plays um, another rule, like the mute I taught you. Mm -hmm. it's, but this one mutes the whole track. So as you mean, I've recorded a whole, a whole lot of stuff here. Anything passing through track six mm -hmm. in this line will be muted. Mm -hmm. But as you mean, I want, to, I want to mute a little portion of track six. I'll just come for the mute function. Then I tap on mute, it will mute, leaving the rest to, to be to be played. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I can play the rest, assuming I have other recordings here. Do you understand? So it is on right now. Now after recording, you are not done. Mm -hmm. You have to double tap. Mm -hmm. The recording will open. This is what we recorded. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Then you normalize. You normalize. Mm -hmm. It opens up the whole recording. Mm -hmm. After you are done with the normalization, you have to make sure that your recording is passing through the right track. Now, during the recording process, we have two places for, for a particular recording. One is where we have the auto-tune. Mm -hmm. And you know, when it comes to the normal rap, we don't usually put auto-tune on it unless it is a trap song. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, tell us what you feel. Yeah, bro. Yeah, to also. My friend about. Yeah, I'm inside only back a car. I'm only back a car. So after you've recorded something, you double tap. No, I'm fine. Yeah. Hey, last digits here, nine two three. And if we're here, so we have you. Ah, my memory is here. I can't make. Hey, you my friend back after you. Sure, sure, sure. So after you've recorded something, double tap. Mhm. Mm then you normalize. Mm -hmm. I've already done it, but without it, look at the waveform. Mm -hmm. The wave will shrink. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. you see. But when you, you know you normalize, the whole thing will open up. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said earlier, it must pass through a particular channel, mostly based on the um, on the template I'll give you. Five is for rap. Mm -hmm. Normally, we don't put auto tune on, on rap tracks mm. unless it is the normal trap trap sounds. Mm -hmm. So, as you mean, it is a normal rap that I, I don't want to put any auto tune on it. It will pass through track five, mm -hmm. of which I have to use my scroll wheel to check for track five here. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, I'm using the scroll mm -hmm. wheel to move the whole thing, to move the mm -hmm. numbers up to track five. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. But, as you mean, I want to put auto tune on it. Mm -hmm. Most auto tune is on the track 10, mm -hmm. 9, and 8. So track 10, 9, 8 to give me that, that auto-tune effect that I want. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing when it comes to auto-tune is that the auto-tune must be in key. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because sure. if, if, the, if the, the, the key for the song mm -hmm. is, let's say, A sharp minor, mm -hmm. and you put it even on A sharp major, it won't work. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So 
these are a few things that you have gotcha. to do. But the whole thing is simple. But mm-hmm. with time, as you do it more and more, you get used to the whole process. Mm-hmm. So I think for now, this is this is okay. All right. yeah. So if you follow this process, bro, mm-hmm. you'll, sure. be, you'll be good at recording your own tracks. So we are done. All right. Yes, man. <laughs>